explore the mysteries of an unknown land. Transurubi is a Metroidvania game where you explore the world as a cyborg protagonist named Surubi. Slash and shoot your way to reveal its hidden secrets. Hello everyone, Dan here with Indie Drop. How's it going? Well, today I have a very special look into the Transurubi demo. Just came out today, hot off the press. Gosh dang it, I am so excited for this game. You have no clue how long I've been waiting to play this demo and to play the full game. Um, developed by Skipmore. He has developed some of my very favorite indie games, um, Kamiko and the Faerun Collection. I absolutely love his art style, his music, um, and this is a bit of a different take where he has developed a side-scrolling game. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited. So with Kamiko and with Faerun, there's, you know, top-down perspective, it's adventure-like. Um, and I mean, this will be very adventure-like also, which is cool. But, um, yeah, with those games, obviously, you could probably see that they're inspired by Legend of Zelda. Um, with Kamiko, you know, a lot of speedrunners actually enjoy that game. It's short and sweet. A lot of, a lot of fun to play, though. You have three different characters to play and choose from. Um... But anyway, if you want to go check those out, then please do. I really, really love those games. Um, let's get right into Transurubi now. So, again, at the very beginning of the video, um, we're going to jump into this unknown land. And we play as this character named Surubi. Already falling so hard in love with this art. Doink. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so good. Good morning, Sarubi. Your scan results are all clear. Of course they are. All I've been doing is laze around. There's no reason for me to break. Good. You're self-aware. Excellent mental condition, too. Really cool. Alright. Yeah, these mechanics. Already nice, quick, snappy. It's brilliant. Sarubi, have you taken a look at the plant sample the UC sent the other day? The one they found seven years ago when there was a dimension fall? Hmm, where did I put it? Why don't you have a look behind that wooden box? That plant grows by absorbing all kinds of energy around it. If you don't keep it carefully, it might suck our ship's energy sources dry. Oh! And Sarubi, you should clean your room more often. Uh, I'll hire a maid at some point. Nice. So there's a bit more dialogue here that I'm used to with his games. Um, in Kamiko, there is a bit of dialogue there where the Shrine Maidens talk with that one guy. And, uh, you know, they get their, their weapons and whatnot. What was that? Oh, something's coming out of another dimension. What could it be? A dimension fall? It's a big one. Looks like we're the closest to it. If we're lucky, we might find a DNA quartz. Zerubi, are you ready? Of course I am. Yeah, of course she is. Like, come on. Like, this is her job. This is what she does. It's what she was built for. Aren't you just loving this so far? Aren't you just loving this so far? There's something about this guy's games that I just cannot get over. They're just so good. So good. I mean, 
I don't think I've ever encountered a bug or an issue with his games either. So really, like, guys, you have to check them out. You have to. They're just so much fun. Mission Control, this is Sarubi. I've arrived on the surface. Sarubi, this is Nekom. I have your coordinates. Is everything all right? My thruster broke on impact. The crystal rod had shattered. Also, every cartridge I had melted upon entering the atmosphere. Oh, and also, I've lost all map data. What? To put it simply, I've lost approximately 70% of my functions. <laughs> all right, give me a moment. sent out automated mobile containers for you, or to you. They will gather materials locally and create basic equipment for you. So, you'll have to go retrieve the containers. Try to explore the place while you do. Okay. Dimension Realm Surface. Don't doing. Okay. So, of course, I'm gonna, you know, go around and explore... Okay, that's very standard. That uh, reminds me of Yamato, right there. But when Yamato would attack, like, you'd kind of go forward. But in this game, you have to be pressing forward. There's no double jump. Not yet, anyway. Anything else? Okay, there's like a, a down slash, which is pretty cool. Did not go that way. Oh, so maybe those blocks break at some point. Being a Metroidvania, I guess that would make kind of more sense to that regard. Um, what are those floating black things? That's a dark material. It must have appeared after the dimension fall. It's not that strong. I'm sure you can defeat it easily. If you say so. Yeah. Two hit combo. Okay, that's another thing. Combo systems. When you defeat more enemies, you gain more EP? Is that right? Something like that. EP? CP? Can't remember. You'll be fine. Your sword has a wide attack range. You should be able to hit them just by swinging your sword nearby. You won't need to jump into the hole. Okay. Well, I jumped into the hole anyway. Okay, so it can't, like, go down through the platform. So that's totally fine. Is there any other buttons that I can use? Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Interesting. And then there's, like, secrets that you can find and stuff. Well, I knew that. I knew that. Sarubi. You could use a downward stab on enemies at the bottom of cliffs. Downward stab? Just concentrate on moving downwards while you jump. Whenever you jump from a high place, I suggest you down... You do a downward stab, just in case. <laughs> Powerful enough to defeat any Dark Materian in one blow. Unless it's a boss. Oh. Boom! Okay, I can't jump up there yet. Oh, man, yeah, see, that's what they're saying. Be careful. Checkpoint. Boom. Oh, can I jump on that guy? Oh, no, I can't. Dang. Is this a door? It's sealed. Some kind of power is working on it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, there's no upward slash. What's this? Oh, okay. Cool. So, at some point or another, you must be able to jump on top of the floating Dark Materian guys. Ah, there's the element gun. 
freezes enemies, activates switches. Okay, so that's probably what it is. You freeze the enemies and then you are not hurt. Found a container. Got an element gun. It uses EP. EP. For bullets called element shots. Element shots can be used to activate switches. And also freeze dark materials that will stop them from moving. You won't get hurt when you touch a frozen dark material. That means you can use them like a foothold. I know that. It's my default equipment, remember? Uh, anyway, you need EP to shoot. You can get EP by defeating enemies. Always be mindful of your EP so you don't run out when you really need it. Those enemies can be stepped on safely. Heck yeah, dude. I like that. I like that a lot. Boom. So, how much EP does one shot take? Okay, it just takes one. Simple enough. Oh. Oh. Got some help there, eh? Well, okay, so I have to use the key item for it. I see, I see. I thought maybe you could, like, shoot it. But apparently not. Alright, let's go down. Oh, that's a door. Oh, what's over there? It's probably an area I cannot get to yet. Yeah, see, I'd probably have to destroy this block right here. I'm gonna assume... There was that one floaty guy over this way. Anything else? Nope. Sarubi, do you see that black diamond right there? Right there? <laughs> I'm just gonna say right there, all right? To your right. One with a number on it? Yes, that one. That's a countdown switch. You can activate it by shooting it. I see. I guess I'll just shoot all the black objects. That looks suspicious. <laughs> Funny. Oh, you gotta be real close to it. Oh, yep. It's a good thing I did that, because I probably would have gotten hit. Yeah, you definitely destroy those blocks. Alright, there's a checkpoint. That's cool. Can I move that block? I guess I should shoot black object too. Well, yeah. See, now he... Oh, wait a second. What the heck? Alright, let's try that again, huh? Does it go back and forth? Oh, it sure does. Oh, there's a crouch, too. Nifty. Dang. Alright, well. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was super close. Okay. Man, this guy has literally thought of everything. I'm getting, like, subliminal... Sonic type vibes with this too. We're stuck. Give you a hint. You can shoot your gun upwards. Huh? I knew that. I feel like I knew that too. But anyway, I'm not gonna go there quite yet. I wanna go this way. So I probably shouldn't go that way yet, huh? It's good timing. Oh, dang. It's got a signal for a tran chip. Tran chip? I thought it was going to say trans tr uh, chip for a second there. Trans chip? Sure. On my radar, but I don't see it. The radar covers a pretty large area. Maybe the chip is in a place where you can't reach. Like, behind the ceiling? Huh. 
Oh, I probably shouldn't destroy that guy. Oh, okay. I assume they become unfrozen at some point. Wonder if I shoot him again? Nope. Unfrozen. Is that a word in a game or in a scenario where, like, there's no ice? Some dark materians might shoot at you. Don't worry, you can slice their bullets with your sword. Some bullets can't be cut, though. The enemy's attacks are too rapid. You could slice their bullets as you get close. Okay. Boom. Element cartridge increases energy capacity for the element gun. Ah, get over here. Okay, so you can't shoot down. Guess I didn't really need to do that. What's that black thing on the ground? Hey, Sarubi, I'll give you a hint. I don't need one. <laughs> okay, so you can shoot down. I said I don't need one. <laughs> That's funny. I want to blast through that thing. Through those blocks. I wonder if there will be a dodge at some point. Ruby, I think you may have noticed. Frozen enemies sometimes drop a pink crystal when you defeat them. Those are LP. Life points? Using LP will recover one life point. You should freeze your enemies as soon as soon as you go until you get a hang of things to be safe. <clears throat> Alright, I'll practice on the next enemy I find. That is super helpful. Well, now I gotta get out of the area. There we go. Hey, there they are! Started? Sure was. Okay, now that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> can go back over here and open that little section. The map has been updated. Press Y to have a look. That's a lot of stuff so I gotta find out about, eh? Okay, let's do it. that oh okay so at least I can jump I'm familiar with this mechanic reminds me very much so of Kamiko can I shoot 
enemies at least to freeze them? Yes, I can. Sweet. And that is how that's done, my friends. Save point. Ooh, is this going to be a boss? I've always loved the boss battles. Nekau, what can you tell me about this? Give me a moment. Military server Klasma. Looks like a server used to manage information around this area. It's been damaged to or by Dark Materians. Only its defense mechanism seems to be functioning properly. That means it's alright to destroy it. Remember, sword attacks work on large Dark Materians, but element shots won't affect them. Hmm, a downward stab on its weak point should work nicely. Downward stab on its weak point. We'll give it a try. I don't know where its weak point is, though. Ah, oh, shoot! Do they... Okay, so I can destroy them. Duh. Should probably destroy them. Um, what? Oh, my word. <laughs> Great work, Dan. Great work. I hope it doesn't go through the dialogue again. Okay, it does. Alright, let's skip that. That is nice that there's a skip button there. Try this again, shall we? Oh man, I don't like that one bit. Health points. Oh, I did not do that properly. So it's an overheat mechanic. Obviously, that just destroys you. I was never good at boss battles. And that's okay, you know? I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's a, it's a lot of fun, you know? Don't think I'll get hurt? Okay, good. So that's its weak point. Shoot. Alright, I think I got it figured out. Nailed it. Much better if I do say so myself. Hey, that looks like Yamato. Where am I? Did you save me? I guess I did. I am Yamato, a scientist researching this realm. Or so I'd like you to think. You'd like me to think? That's so suspicious. Oh, I'm Surubi, by the way. Surubi, thank you, Surubi. I think I'll go now. That'd be really cool if you could play as Yamato at some point. Hey! Yamato isn't her name. It's the name of her frame. Also, her ID isn't on the UC database. Well, she doesn't seem hostile, so I guess it's okay. I am really enjoying this demo so far. Oh, what's this? Nakam, look at this. Yep, it's a SS level DNA quartz. Unfortunately, with your current equipment, you won't be able to carry it back. 
slide the pieces to take the piece with the red crystal out of the board. Oh, all right, all right. This is kind of like unblock me. <laughs> Yo, I am all for this. This is sweet. Uh, can I move this this way? I sure can. Um... Shoot. Can I move this one too? Oh, okay. Well, obviously I have to move that one. <laughs> you dumb. Oh, well, I don't need to do that. Boom, there we go. Got it. This looks like a DNA record. Seems so. No more about that than me. Hold on a sec. That DNA quartz is mine. I got Debs before you. This big thing, and in fact, yes. What else could I be talking about? Go ahead, take it. Huh? Are you sure? Yeah, I can't bring it back with my current equipment anyway. R really? Gee, uh, thanks. I'm Douglas. Who may you be? It's a Ruby. All right, Sir Ruby. I'll remember that. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. That man, uh, Douglas, was it? According to the UC database, he's a treasure hunter. A legitimate one at that. Both his parents work for UC, too. I didn't know treasure hunters need their personal information in the database. He does lose some privacy, but in exchange, it gives him credit. Oh boy. Dang nibbit. Let's get back there and grab that. And of course the enemies are gonna be there again, so yeah, that'll be cool, you know. It's nice that you can pick it back up. In um Comico, you could not pick those back up. Oh, shoot. Well, at least you can climb up the ladder. That's convenient. The level design is on point with other Metroidvanias. I'm really enjoying that. Second, I know where I am now. Alrighty, that works for me. So obviously can't jump up there. Safe point. There's a dent in the shape of a diamond. It's like something will fit in there. Hmm, okay. Can't grab that coin up there. Oh, what up, dude? So, I probably can't freeze those big guys, I'm going to assume. I mean, maybe I could, but who knows.
All right. Yeah, I gotta remember to freeze these guys because I need some health points bad. Oh! But of course, in doing so, you lose out on the EP. Oh boy, that was close. Nice. Increases sword range, breaks certain blocks. There it is. This is a crystal rod. Your sword will get stronger with this. You can probably destroy a rock around the size of a wooden box now. Your sword's attack range has increased. You can destroy small blocks now. I think they said that like three times. So that's cool. Oh, you just sink right down to the bottom. That makes sense, as you are a cyborg. Got a bit of weight on the bod. I will say, not be underwater for very long at all. Oh, that is definitely a secret area. Well, I wouldn't say secret, I can see it. <laughs> well, firstly, I want to come back here because I feel like I'm missing something over here. Oh, sweet. You can shoot underwater, too. Oh, no! I knew better. I feel like I'm missing something, and then I die. Clever. Okay, so that just goes right back up there. So, I guess I can't go that way. Risky business. Oh, I guess I don't need to do that. Yeah, there's got to be some sort of dodge. Okay, so I didn't think about that before. So we'll do that then, eh? Yeah, that works. Okay. Oh, but wait a second. I bet I need that guy. So I'll just shoot downward, use him as a platform. Aha! Man. Clever mechanics, clever ideas here. Alright, I am getting through it now. to use that guy. So, I'm going to. There we go! Gosh dang, who knew that would be so easy? I'm getting through it now, guys! Gotta work smarter, not harder. Alright, this must be back to the other area here. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. Let's 
so I'm gonna go this way. Well, I guess I don't necessarily... Well, no, actually I do. was <laughs> getting a little on edge with myself for not figuring these things out just you know just like legend of zelda though like when you're given a tool to use you really ought to use it right don't know why i was just shooting in the dark just being dumb really dumb all right where are some tran chips uh, there's some over here uh, many down there I think I've been down there before Okay, there's some right there. I need six. Yep, and I need to go up there. Alright, there's two. Where are the other ones? Oh, there's still one up there. Okay. So, yeah, now I gotta loop around to that other spot. And I'll be able to grab those coins. Oh, hurry up, make it. Sweet. Alright, there's two right there. So, and then the other two are up above. Oh yeah, I don't need to go up there. What am I thinking here? Silly goose. Let's save it. For the heck of it. Nope. Ah, uh, yes. Wait a second, do I need to go? I do need to go up there. Alright, let's be patient. Patience. Patience, my friends. Alright, we got our six. Wicked. That's why to have a look. That doesn't seem very updated. Oh, my word. Yeah, 
Yep, nope. Let's go up here. Zoink. Oh, look at that. There's like a... What is that called, actually? There's a word for it. It's called a plug. Save point. Another plug. I assume I have to avoid those. <laughs> Dang, this brings you up really far. That just loops you right around. This looks like part of something. It's probably a plug used for a teleporter. Just this one won't do much, though. Alright, if I find any more, I'll collect them. follows you around, so what happens if you die? Well, obviously it goes away when you die. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I say the things that I do. I just had to bring it over there. Yeah, I'm not gonna survive that. Not until I get uh, a way of breathing underwater. Yeah, there are some blocks over here that I need to destroy. I think there's another area of blocks, too. Could be mistaken. That just, yeah, okay. Exploring lots of areas here, guys. Let's save for the heck of it. At this point, I'm just kind of playing the game. Um, I'm not going to say too much. I feel like this is a stream at this point <laughs> where you just like playing the game and, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to play the game. Enjoy the game. Let's see, okay, so that's where I need to go, but how do I get over? 
remember that way. Hmm. Okay, once again, <clears throat> had to check everything out because it took me a little while to figure out where I needed to go for this plug. And my goodness gracious, <laughs> it took me a little while. So, wanted to spare you having to watch through like, you know, 20 minutes of senseless content. I found this humongous tran chip. Call it a mega tran chip. Here we go. Got it working now. And that's it, apparently. That's okay. Not too bad. So obviously there are other abilities that you obtain at some point. You know, there's a this really cool looking bike just in that little cinematic there. Double jump. Okay. Yep. Told you. Now, that's pretty standard also. Just watching this for the first time. Um, in uh, Kamiko, you'd be locked in some rooms. A bunch of enemies would spawn and you'd have to defeat them all. Oh my gosh. You have no idea the excitement I just had watching that. This is brilliant. I absolutely love this in a million ways. So, that is the Transruby demo. Of course, you can play that over on Steam if you so desire. Uh, skip more. You, again, have done it. You have piqued my interest and uh, have made me fall in love again with your games. I'm really, really excited for this. And you should be too. I mean, really. Um, wow. Yeah. That was so thrilling. Really, it really, really was. As aggravating as it was in some areas, I'm not saying that's the game's fault. I'm saying that's my stupidity. <laughs> yeah. A lot of fun. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the content nonetheless. I know it wasn't, uh, you know, me talking the entire time. But that was just because I was really focusing, really trying to get through it so that way, you know, I could get done with it. Not that I wanted to get done with it quickly, but that's the difference of playing the game on your own and making content with it. Wow, what a playthrough. Sweet, guys. Thank you so much. Um, and of course, you know, if you like this video, please check out some of my other videos and subscribe if you'd like. Um, you know, and uh, that notification button is sitting right over there. And if you, you know, wanted to hit it so you can stay up to date with all of my content, then that would be sweet. As always, you guys are awesome and amazing individuals. We'll catch you next time.